So it's Saturday and we've had a productive morning in the kitchen. I've just washed all of our new dishes. And this is a marble surface saver. And then this is my new wok. You probably would have seen the haul already actually. I've got some hob cleaner stuff on here that's letting it soak. And my double has arrived today, which is so cool. I really feel like a proper grown up lady now. I've got my own double. <laughs> Whoa. So I still need to decide what I want to do with this. This used to house my palettes, but I'm not going to use it for that anymore. This can go away. These are extra washing up brushes. I still need to get a sink caddy as well. But I've got this tray here. So this tray can hold my sponge. However, I would like a little caddy because I've got this pink utensils thing over here. Which is, look at this guys by the way. This is a glass cleaner and it's like made of foam. And it's so effective for like glass, jugs, etc. But anyway, so I've got these three things but also my utensils in here. So the kitchen is getting there. I've got these really gorgeous frames for the fridge. I think I might get another pack actually because they're so affordable. These are from Home Bargains for like less than two pounds. And then I'll just put some nice pictures in there. And then these are some fridge magnets that my sister-in-law got me like in our last apartment, which are really cute. Hello everyone. Hey, it's uh, Saturday night and honestly I spent most of today and most of yesterday just shopping, getting things together, organising, sorting out. I've not even had time to fill up the camera. I'm just going to quickly put the stuff away. I'm going to do a meal plan in Chella. So what I really want to do with this kitchen is I want to make sure that I am super organised with the food that we have. So we don't have like lots of wastage and throwing away. Because honestly in our last apartment that was the case. It was because we were hardly there to actually eat it. Like we were mostly eating at my parents' house because I was working full time. It was I don't even know if I've spoken about this already, but yeah, this time I want things to be very different, inshallah. So I'm going to be like, inshallah, much more organised. Um, even if that means just taking my wee little kitchen notes book and my little app with me. <laughs> now I'm just going to go to meet Wakari. We're going to have dinner together. And yeah, tomorrow my gorgeous friend is coming over, Maria. And she's going to see our new place. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm very tired so the rest of the shopping can wait because it's not fresh stuff I'm just going to quickly put some of this washing on the radiators because they're still warm I was trying I basically was like seeing how well the drying racks worked and they seem to be doing an okay job but yeah I think what I'm just going to do in the future is like not do more than one wash in a day because yeah now like we've got our own place and stuff we don't have to do more than one wash in a day if that makes sense we can just spread it out you can see a bit behind me look at my big teddy bear <laughs> getting that rug from ikea was the best idea i'm so glad that i had that brainwave before we left because it's made the biggest difference obviously like it might look a little bit odd because you can still definitely still see the red carpet but it, for the area and the space, it was the most cost effective, best thing that I could have done. Hello. You guys, I'm absolutely buzzing because I've just turned on my new solar lights. I got a pack of two for £10. And they're so good. First of all, they're very, very long. Like 10 metres is super long. There's all this left in here. And then secondly, look at all the different modes. So you've got just the normal one. Flashing, flashing, flashing. The like back and forth one. Flashing, flashing, flashing. I'm really impressed with that. So I've got two packs. I want to put one, probably like on a balcony. But now I'm thinking I might as well just like put them around, you know, the house, brighten it up a bit, like we really need some light. I'm just wondering like do I know this might be a really dumb question, but like do solar lights work indoors? Do they need direct sunlight? How does it work? I don't know. But Looking forward to using these. Okay, so I'm going to try and use these hooks to stick these on the wall. And I've found the spot above the fridge is where you get the most light in the kitchen. So hopefully that should work. And these say damage free and we are allowed to use these kind of hooks. Guys, look how cute. So I've just got this cover, the kitchen and the front room door. And here's all of these lights, which are really cute. Not for our apartment for the new project. These are cute wee little light bulbs. 
Apparently these do break easily though. But I'm just gonna do a really quick haul on here. The first shop was the range. And I decided to get this for the kitchen. I really couldn't find a soap dispenser that I loved. So I thought I'd get this hand kit. As you can see it's four pounds. The copper just matches the utensils in the back. And I think it's really important to have a hand lotion as well. I then got this marble white peeler. Because we needed a peeler anyway. Hopefully it's nice and sharp. And then I thought this was really cute. It was like two pounds. So this is um, also super functional. It's a wee little teapot and as you're making any drinks or using any spoons or knives, you just rest it on here and it stops the surfaces from getting sticky. I then also got this marble tray which matches that black marble worktop protector thing, same marble theme. And these are some of our plates that we used today uh, when we were serving some fruit for the family. Okay, then moving on to Dun & Mill, I got this uh, utensils drainer for three pounds, which is such a good deal. So what I'm gonna do is put this over here with my drying mat, and this pink one is just solely gonna be used for like the tools that I'm using for washing, if that makes sense. And I'll actually probably move the pink one to the windowsill over here. I still haven't found a sink caddy that I love. Tomorrow as well, by the way, I just get myself a planted potted coriander. So that is going to be planted in there and this whole box situation is going to be moved. And then, oh, put some more magnets up today. So Morocco, Bali, um, coal in Germany, and me and my beautiful nanny. Right, back to the hall. So I got this green hand towel. This is for the bathroom. I've got a grey one in there at the moment, but this green one is going to replace that. And then I thought this was like such a good deal, you guys. This is a grill pan, it's 28 centimeters non-stick, and it was only eight pounds, which was amazing. So I did a quick search, and all the like branded ones are like 18 to 25 pounds. So this looks really sturdy. We got um, another power socket because we need at least one of these in every room, and this was three pounds. And then I got a hanging error which goes over the door. Let me just turn you guys around. So this goes over a door, this bit sticks out, you can hang five rows of clothes there, and it's got hooks, so I thought this would be really good for when I'm steaming the clothes. And then the biggest bargain ever was these gorgeous glasses. I got a set of four glasses, and originally, you guys, they are 14 pounds, and I got them for five pounds 50, just because the packaging is damaged. What an amazing deal. I'm over the moon at that. So these are gonna be like our special guest glasses. But they're so beautiful, so I just need to wash those and put them away. And as you can see, there's a lot going on in this kitchen. This is all the groceries that I got, which I'm not gonna show you guys, so my batch is flashing. But yeah, got a bit of tidying to do. And let's stick a bit of uh, YouTube on and get this sorted. Tomorrow. As I'm late, up everyone, so it's Sunday. And we have got the apartment looking pretty ready schmaddy, as ready as it can. So I'll just show you guys the bathroom. We've got my little bath rack over here, some of our toiletries, fat scrubber thing, which is great. Here is the skincare and body care. And I got these mats, how cute. Obviously the gravity on the floor is gross, but that's all being sorted out. All right, so that is our lovely friends over. I've just gone out to get something, but yeah, Maria is here now, which is so exciting. And basically what I'm doing with this cupboard is I'm just moving, we're gonna put the cups up here, excess cups and bottles up here. And then here's gonna be the glasses and the bowls. And then here can be the plates, because it'll just be easier to reach from here. And then I'm just gonna have a look around and see how I wanna organize it, the space in here. Alhamdulillah, like I said, we've got loads of space. We've got two cupboards here, which, are filled with the landlord stuff. But also, to be honest, I was thinking that we could actually put some of this stuff in the top covers of the utility shelf. So there is, alhamdulillah, there's so much storage I can't go over it. So yeah, I'm just gonna like now be moving things across. I washed all the plates yesterday and I just wanted to get one more like set of plates, but for now, like we're good. I'm gonna use these two smaller trays for the baking stuff. So I'm gonna put like bicarbonate of soda, sprinkles, etc. in this little one. And then all the flour and sugar can go in here. Yeah. 
and Sophia or oh. yeah. So I got Ma Maria and Sophia. Wow. Or also Maria. That's what? I'm sorry. Okay, it's a nice one. Okay, it's a nice one. Well, guys, ones are like, it's a No, I don't the whole kitchen on fire. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday, it's the 30th of September, I haven't vlogged in a hot minute, obviously I've just been like at work and just busy and stuff, but as you can see I'm sad on Monday at the end, Amazon has been taking all of my money, um, but for good reason, so I've recently got a really cool laptop stand, and it's, it was so inexpensive like for how efficient it is, so before I was like sat and I was like stooped down like this like trying to see my screen, now it's like pretty much eye level. I can make it even higher if I wanted to, which is really cool. And it's just great. It's so helpful. So I've been sat here. It's, it's after work. I've been sat here just busy editing. I've managed to edit my first moving vlog and I've managed to edit my IKEA haul. The next vlog on my list to do is my husband's birthday weekend. So that'll be fun. And that's the first vlog that I use my lovely Canon G7X with. And then after that is the moving vlog too. But in between these vlogs, I'm gonna have hauls and I've also got one or two beauty videos as well. And this is just a little like, I don't know if any of you guys really care, but obviously if you watch someone, you support them. It's amazing if you could do one of two things, either as soon as they post it or as close as possible to when they post it, click on the video so that that YouTube alerts other subscribers to the video basically. And then number two is, like give them your watch time. So I know this is a bit cheeky, but sometimes it's even a case of just like, pressing the video and letting it run um, even if you're like doing something else in the background and, or you put it on a lower volume or whatever but it just means that watch time is going up and that helps us about analytics and it just helps more people to see your videos so yes I just thought I'd let you know that so I've had a productive time editing now what I'm going to do is do a bit of cleaning and behind me I've got my little light going on here as well this is the exact same light that I had in my other place the LED strip and luckily like it was sticky enough like it's not perfect but it's managed I managed to get it stuck down this room is really really come together alhamdulillah yesterday I did a lot of damage in TK Maxx and in B&M so I do want to film that whole ASAP I'll see how much time I have but I am really just gonna quickly do a bit of tidying <laughs> job on my to-do list today is to fill up my spice jars which I'm so excited about. If you have seen my IKEA haul which is, would have been up a couple of weeks ago by now um you will know that I got the little spice jars from IKEA and then recently I went and did all my Asian shopping. I got the medium sized bag so these are the 400 grams ones because they just work out to better value for money and then I can just store the these bags away somewhere. So the cute thing about these jars is you can either store them like this or like this. I'm gonna see how I wanna do my labeling, but obviously I want to have the spice names written clearly on here. Yes. 
so it's much later on now. Um, Mogar's come home, he's very tired and yeah, he's a bit stressed out about Friday. Now I don't tune the pandemic. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my old spices since the battery died. But look how cute they look. So I've got my black pepper, my jeera, my then this is the ground version. Got a masala, chili powder, then your paprika, tandoori and garlic. I've still got three more jars, which are over there. And I'm gonna decide. Well, I still need to get chili flakes actually, but remember, I also have this, which I had in the old apartment. And honestly, some of these have not opened, so I think the ones I'm gonna check. Like the and then in little today, I saw this little guy. So this one was so cute. And actually, I've just used this app. I used it to identify what this plant is called, and it's called a wandering Jew. <laughs> How random is that? So it does definitely match the interior of this room. It's very purple and green. And that's the card that Maz got me. So cute. And then I also purchased this baby bio house plant food thing. It was literally like two or three pounds. It was very, very cheap because you only have to add like five to ten drops into half a litre. And that's that's pretty good. So I got this from Amazon. And then I also, <laughs> another random purchase, I got these shower caps because they had good reviews. And um, especially like with exercising, like you're working out. And you're sweating a lot, and but you don't always like want to wash your hair obviously every single day, especially if you've got hair that's like on the drier side, it's gonna really just dry it out and make it worse. People, strange people that don't normally pray during the year, subhanallah. First of October and I woke up at around 10 o'clock. I'm gonna test out my brand new ninja. I'm so excited to have one of these. We've had one of these at my parents' house for years. Like they last for such a long time and they are amazing. So I've got the black one. I'll leave the link down below from where I got mine from. And basically it's like the best chopper ever. But I'm trying to decide if I need to buy myself a juicer or just this ninja is gonna be enough. Like, I really don't know. So, let me just fast forward this opening process. That is delicious. It's just sweet enough. I've used up those slightly overripe nectarines. That's so nice. Right, I'm gonna put it in a glass now. You win. That's how we've everyone. So, many hours later, I showered, washed my hair. I tried to use a steam mop today and it's not working. Now, hopefully the landlord's gonna be coming over sometime next week to do a few of the fixing that he needs to do. So, we'll let him know about the steam mop then because this part of the the furnished accommodation we're gonna need a new one i've just done my makeup like quite a lot heavier than i normally would um and i'm gonna film a video but i just want to have a snack i'm so hungry we are going to be eating at seven o'clock my fridge was on way too high and everything is frozen why like why does this happen honestly i'm annoying myself at house of the emmy you know what i'm gonna have cereal i'm gonna have my wee yogurt and i'm gonna have cereal but yeah also, I feel like I look really chubby in this jumper. I'm like, Dara, that's not the vibe you should be giving me. You should, and also, <sighs> yes, I'm wearing a green hijab cap. No, that's not meant to be showing through. And no, I can't find any of my hijab pins. I think I'm gonna have to order some more. You guys are precariously now sitting in my skincare cabinet. Hello. Actually, this is quite a good angle for when I'm doing skincare stuff. That's great. But yeah, so I've done my haul. I filmed that and I'm just like, the time is running out. I put my Fitbit on charge, but these are my new little things in the bathroom. So you guys know I've been wanting to find like the perfect one for ages. Yeah, carefully pouring this in. So yeah, I filmed the haul. The haul didn't take too long. But it's just all that comes with filming. Like, I don't think people understand unless they do YouTube themselves that 
Filming takes so much time. It's the setting up, it's making sure the mic's working, making sure the angle's okay. Like, I still haven't perfected my filming routine, my filming setup, sorry, in the new place. And sometimes I look back at my videos and I'm like, I did not like how that was filmed. I'm just like used to having like Wakara around, you know, to, to like bounce ideas off of and just be an extra pair of hands. And uh, the last two weeks, honestly, I've hardly seen him. Um, and I knew that that was the case, like we did talk about that and he just say like, are you sure you want to move out knowing that I'm going to be like super, super busy? And I was like, yes, yes, I'm sure. Like this place is going to be snapped up really quickly and then I'm going to end up regretting it and feeling annoyed that we didn't go for it. So I definitely am sure. But yeah, it hasn't been the easiest of times. However, it's not the end of the world as well. This size here is three pounds and it says it's burned for 20 hours. So I'm just gonna put that on now for about at least 45 minutes. Here's my electric candle lighter. Who remembers that? These could do with a quick tidy, so I will do that. But this is looking really cute. The job is to get these mats in the washing machine. I'm gonna wash all my cloths and mats now. I'll just put this load on while they're here. not the biggest bathroom so we might kind of get stuck a bit let me just move it closer to the tub I'm just trying to cover as much of this ugly grating as i can because it's just so bad right there we go perfect okay 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 so basically every single room is like tidy now apart from my filming room Totally out of breath as I always am after changing the sheets and that's why it's my job but I'm so glad I did that now So this is a wee little farm. You can come in here. First class planet fruit and fridge, two pounds per planet. You can take a wee box. And the honesty box is here. <laughs> Look at that. Guys, when I say these strawberries are the best ever, I'm not kidding, like supermarket strawberries have Continue nothing on A90 for one mile. Have nothing on these. <laughs> also, I've not vlogged in like, I don't know, 40 hours or something, but life's been very busy. <laughs> we have been very busy with the craft project, like I was telling you guys. I did, I did a little bit of vlogging last night. We've been on missions today, me and Sophie Baji. So, <laughs> we are too many missions and we're pretty sleepy right now, so. I'm gonna go home, grab a nap, and then see you when the day takes us. Three hours later. And now we're ready. So I'm wearing these massive lashes. And I'm gonna, yeah, they're just too big. Like, I cut too much off, basically. So there should be more at the front. But it looks fine for now. But I think I'll get rid of these afterwards. Hey, it's my father-in-law. I, I think I told you guys. He's opening a new business, mashallah. And we're gonna go and taste some of the food. So I don't know what I'm more excited about. Probably the food, to be honest. <laughs> but the party's gonna be good too. Oh yeah, and at this like little party, there's um there's gonna be some really nice like desi food as well, which we're both very excited for. The next day. Okay guys, so it's now Sunday. Um, we've had a semi-productive day. To be honest, we had a really good line, all three of us, after such a busy last few days of going back and forth. Oh, okay, my battery's going, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, that's better. So just come back from a shop. So I did um, a little as the shop, and then I did, I had to put some fuel in the car, and then I did my little shop as well. So basically, um, I wanted to go into Asda because my sister and all were saying that they have some really, really good home pieces. And I haven't been to Asda in ages, as you guys know, I'm kind of obsessed with Little, but 
Asda has shoes right. She ha they have some amazing home pieces. So this part of the vlog is going to be a little bit of an Asda haul. Um, obviously, hopefully you can still find the things um, near as in an Asda near you. But I'm going to try and give you the prices as mu as much as I can. But I'm just trying to think where can I put you guys so that I can film this easily. So yeah, don't ignore my absolutely just whatever appearance we're not going to talk about it okay <laughs> we're just going to do this little vlog so this little haul even so the first thing that i saw which i could not resist picking up is a super cute cushion and it was seven pounds and it says snuggle season i thought it was really really cute um it is pink and it is is cr pink and cream and we have like Quite a lot of bedding which is either pink or cream so i thought this would like look really cute for the next couple of months especially and obviously you can take this off and wash it separately hand wash this um but yeah this was maybe a little bit pricey like i didn't necessarily need a cushion for the bedroom but it was going to be a cute finishing touch okay the next thing was such a big bargain it's a stock pot and this was only 12 pounds it was on a massive discount so this is a teflon uh, teflon material so it means that it's uh, got quality tested non-stick coating um it's just a george um as their own brand george home non-stick 32 centimeter stock pot and what i love about it is that it's got a lid as well and i can't believe i can't remember if i said this already this was only 12 pounds. I actually kind of wish I picked two up now because it's such a good price. The next thing I got from Asda is this bread bin. And as you can see, it matches my kitchen perfectly. It is marble. And then it's got this copper colored like lid here as well. And the thing is like, a bread bin is definitely not essential, but I think it's so helpful in terms of keeping your breads and wraps and rolls fresh for longer and also keeping them out of sight, but um, easy to access as well, if that makes sense. £10, I was like, this is such a good price and it literally is perfect for our, for our kitchen. And at the moment, by the way, guys, we brought a loaf of bread when we first moved in and we used half of it and then I've frozen the rest because... This is what kept happening when we last had an apartment over a year ago. We kept buying bread and having to chuck it away. They just don't tend to do like half bread loaves, which kind of blows my mind. So I'm like, not everybody lives in a family setting. Some people live in couples or alone. And so a whole loaf of bread is just way too much. But you know, the convenience of a freezer means it's not too much of a big deal. As to have the cutest giraffe things in right now, I am loving how popular giraffes have become in the whole world, like across all the shops. And Asda has a, an amazing giraffe range. I didn't get like every single thing because there's some things I didn't want and there's some things I just didn't need. So I was like, let me be sensible. The first thing that I purchased, which I've been looking for like the perfect one for a while now, and I'm so so glad that I went to Asda. I'm so so happy that I waited it out and didn't just go and didn't just purchase anyone. Is an oven mitt. This is so cute. So this is a double oven glove. And you guys, look how cute that print is. It's literally covered in giraffes with the leaf print. It's pink. I mean, like my kitchen's not really green, but you guys know I love green, so it's fine. And it's got giraffes on it. And this was four pounds, so really reasonable. And then I saw right next to the oven gloves a set of three giraffe tea towels you have one that is the exact same print as the mitt and then you have this green one just plain green and then you have this palm leaf one which is nice as well um, and that was four pounds in the set so the next giraffe thing that i found in asda was this hand towel it's super cute they actually had a whole like hand towel bath towel and like a longer towel and a bath mat range in the same sort of design but let me just check this hand towel was only four pounds which is a pretty good price how cute is that so we've got this print on one side this mustard yellow white giraffes and then on the other side we have a white print with a um yellow giraffe so this is going to be one of my kitchen towels i have this one and a white one very happy with this and for four pounds i thought it was just such a good price and then i think these are the final draft items and the rest of the stuff is food so i could not resist purchasing these pasta bowls um how cute are these so basically it just like a plain white bowl but then if you look carefully there's a really cute little giraffe print on there you've got two giraffes 
and then they've got the palm leaf print behind them. And so what I love about this is that it's not like overly giraffe, it could almost just look like a plain bowl, but that cute little touch of that giraffe is just so adorable. So I just got two of these because there's only two of us and we're probably gonna be using these like on a regular basis. Okay, and then the rest of the things I got was pretty much like a little bit of food, so I'll just quickly show you. I got my favorite Dr. Ottica restaurant mod pizza. This is just the mozzarella one, but I like to add my own toppings sometimes if I want to. Um, most of my food shop, to be honest, I do tend to do in Lidl. As you guys probably know, because of the rewards app, it just makes sense, and they have coupons as well, so you end up saving so much money. However, there's certain brands that you can't find there, so um, I put those already in as I got that. And then I also got the Don Simon pineapple and coconut juice drink. It's very refreshing, and I think, I don't think it's like the most unhealthy. 20 calories per 100 milliliters, and this is 1.5 liters, so it's not bad. It's not a bad drink at all. Okay, so I just top up our sweet straws, so these are just five for a pound, and these refreshers are definitely halal. They're suitable for vegetarians, which is great. So I got four of these and um, a love heart thing. And as we covered, this cupboard here has got like our serving bowls and extra like decorative bowls. And then here we've got like all the hot drinks. So hot chocolate, coffees, teas, green tea, and like one mug that just doesn't fit in the other side. And then here is like all the biscuits, cakes, chocolates, and sweets. So this is our sweetie jar. And yeah, that's my little, little as the home haul. I'm really, really pleased with all the bits that I got. And I didn't go crazy. Now what I'm gonna do is wash up that new pot that I got and start some cooking because we're well, going to be home in an hour inshallah and i want us to have our first proper home cooked meal here and then my sister-in-law um is actually coming from london so she's um on the train right now and she's going to be going to the house so we're going to go see her after that and yeah it's going to be really nice okay. see you soon yeah so it's monday now and um i just wanted to show you how silly i was I put my steam, well, I put a little rail thing up there, right? And then I steamed my clothes and I have made this door white. And I was freaking out about it and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to buy this touch of beeswax thing and this orange thing. And oh, it's just like, I was so stressed because the animal was supposed to be coming over today as well. But apparently he's got corona symptoms, so he's not going to come over. Um, but luckily I found this amazing hack on YouTube. And basically if you use a hairdryer, you're able to get it out, so I'll show you guys. So how cool is that? I mean, I'm going to have a very sore arm because I'm just going to be sitting here blow drying my door. <laughs> but I'm very happy that I found the hack. Thank you, YouTube. This is why I love YouTube because it gives all the best hacks. So I'm just going to be doing this for um, possibly a couple of hours. BRB.